Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an, a video on acceleration constraints and specifically focusing on some tips and strategies for finding the relationships between accelerations because I know this can be pretty tough and many times or oftentimes non-intuitive so it's really hard to think of it in your mind especially when you have like a ton of pulleys going on. So an easy equation to remember in order to help you with the multiple pulley equations is that the acceleration on a movable pulley so it's really important to realize that this is movable pulley it's not a pulley that's attached to a wall like this one rather it's one like this which can move is equal to the sum of the accelerations of the strings attached so there's each pulley is obviously going to have two strings so the sum so that acceleration plus that acceleration of both those strings divided by 2. And before we jump into using that equation to find some relationships, I'm going to talk about why it's a 2 there. So when we draw our free body diagram, most people would draw a tension pointing upward and a gravity or force of gravity pointing downward. Now, although that's partially correct, many people often overlook that there's two strings attached, so there's actually two tensions for every I guess you could call it like two that tension on one string gets multiplied by two right because the tension on one string is going to be have to equal the tension on the other but we don't count them both when we calculate accelerations we have to have them so we divide it by two and that's where that two comes from so we're going to get started and the first thing I do whenever I see an acceleration or a uh, problem we have to determine a relationship is you have to draw your coordinate system and what you draw in your coordinate system is just an x and a y and you identify where your positive locations are so for example in this problem I'm gonna say my upward or j hat direction upward in the y is gonna be positive and my right in the x is gonna be positive or i hat direction now I wrote i hat and j hat because you might see that on because there's many notations to write right and up. So in this problem, we're going to say that we have block 1 here and block 2 which is attached to this pulley by a metal rod. And I want to determine the relationship between the accelerations. So the first, and this is a frictionless surface, so it's ice right there. That's why I tried to draw ice. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just give this a direction of motion. So obviously if it's frictionless, any force, it's probably going to move to the right. So I'm having that move to the right, and that means this here is going to move down. So this moving to the right would give me a positive A1, because my acceleration of 1 is going to be in the positive x direction. And if I translate that, because it's the same string, right, moving across, I know that my acceleration on this string Although the string's getting bigger, since we're going down, that should be negative A1 on that string right there. So I'll write it there. And then on this string, it has that negative A1. And remember, because it has that negative A1, we divide by 2. So I'm just going to write A1 on one side because we're dividing by 2, right? The A1 actually gets carried over, but we eliminate that because there's no use counting things twice. On this one, so what acceleration actually measure, measures in pulleys and strings is the rate at which the ends are changing. So over here the end is obviously changing because it's getting longer, but over here it's attached to a wall. And that's important because if it's attached to a wall, that acceleration is going to equal zero. So finally we're going to come down here and we're going to write out our equation. So we know that the acceleration of this movable pulley, let's just call it pulley A, so the acceleration of pulley A is going to equal the sum of its strings, so we already said that A1 plus 0, right, divided by 2. And the last step to this problem is recognizing the fact that mass 2, or object 2, is attached with a steel rod or metal rod to the pulley, so the acceleration of A has to equal the acceleration of 2. So if I substitute that in over there, my final answer is going to be acceleration of 2 equals negative acceleration of 1 over 2. And that is the relationship between the accelerations. 
I know sometimes it's really hard to remember, but, or to see right away, especially when you start adding like three or four pulleys in. But if you use this equation, you're almost guaranteed to get it right. It might be more tedious, but you're guaranteed to get it right. So hopefully this video helped, and please leave any comments or questions below, or maybe even some um, acceleration relationship problems that you guys are having. So thanks for watching.